All right. So I just had my night rune. Uh, as you can tell, I'm in the wall. Uh, in case you can't tell, I'll show you it now. Oh, good, great, Jesus. Okay, so I come out of the pits. This is lap 26 out of 34. And uh, I think it's been like a few hours for this race. At least an hour, an hour and a half. Right? I come out of the pits. I'm watching F1 right now. Australian GP is on. So I, I'm, I'm hearing Crofty in my ear uh, yapping. So slightly distracted. Right, so I come over here. Oh, wrong guy, wrong guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we are. All right. I break. I touch the grass right here. Uh, and I spin. Rookie mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault, my fault, right? Okay, so let's skip to this guy right here. He's behind me, right? And now, I'm trying to gather things up. Let's slow this down to uh, 2.5. Okay, so I I'm giving him plenty of space. I I'm edging him. Pause, pause, pause. But on the curb. But he's turning into me. Look at how fucking far his wheel is turned. And for some reason in this game, when the AI, is, you're, you're like defending against the AI. You're forcing them wide. Like many people do in real life. Um, they just turn in on you. And not only do they turn in on you, they stick like glue to your fucking car like Forza or something. Uh, which is highly realistic, might I add. Because, uh, uh, yeah, make that make sense, mate. What the fuck am I looking at? Okay. So he's turning into me. We're going, let's, let's see how far, how fast we're going. Ah, uh, where's cockpit? All right. So we're going, uh, 200 in this corner. He's still turning into me. Look at how far his wheel is turned. And, uh, if in case you didn't know, the AI in AMS2 uses a different, uh, physics set compared to the players um a lot of games do this some games hide it better than the others but this game makes it pretty obvious since they always go off the road and still retain grip or they uh they plow into you sustaining damage uh but they carry on with pace that could easily match yours even though they have they have damage on so uh great game great game let's have a look again go down to uh half he turns in on me off I go, into the barriers, he's waving at me, fuck off, easy win for him, even though he's in, in eighth, fucking retard. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind because uh, I spent my entire night doing this, you know? <laughs> that's that's two hours or, or something of my life, I'm not gonna get back. Uh, all because the AI has a shitty physics, alright? Look at this guy. Boom! Uh, Goodbye, goodbye, off I go into the wall. Oh my god. Uh, concussion. Um, yeah. See you later, mate. Fuck off, mate. Uh, so yeah, there's my night rune. I'm gonna... Retire. Guess what the fuck else am I gonna do? And then I'm going to see how long this race lasted. You, uh, show... Ooh. How how's that possible by the way? 321 in a fucking hypercar? What the fuck? Or oh my what the fuck? <laughs> what? How how is that possible? What the fuck? Alright, anyways. 92 minutes. This out an hour and a half. So uh Excellent. Thank you, AMS2. Uh look all those videos talking about how, how fucking amazing the AI is. Bullshit, absolute bullshit. I love this game. I love it to death. I have 570 hours currently in this game. But um Yeah, AI is not anywhere close to to being the best single player experience in in sim racing. I think that title still goes to iRacing easily. Uh even though iRacing is a multiplayer game mostly. Uh the AI is still very good in that game. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this ranting. I'm ready for the wave of dislikes from this game, talking about how shitty I'm driving. Uh, but but argue argue against uh, amongst yourselves, because explain to me how physics works when when AI sticks to you like glue, and its wheels are fully turned on you or into you, even though uh, you're clearly ahead. Uh, yeah, explain that.